Hey my little angels and welcome back to another video you guys. So we have the vegetable garden event 2022. It has finally come back. It was in 2016 and 2018 I think. So it's only been around like two times before. But this is coming in place of the fishing event this year. Which I'm glad for since fishing event has come out every year for like 10 years straight. Except for 2019. But anyways, this event is going to last from 14th of July all the way through 8th of September. So you have like two months almost, like July, August. Yeah, you have almost two months, one week less than two months maybe. But you have till September 8th, so I do not think there will be a back to school event because it's running for so long. But anyways, let's get on into this video. I'm gonna tell you what you have to do and then I'll give you tips at the end so that people who don't really care about that, they can skip it. But anyways, basically what you have to do is you collect seeds, you have these different tools you can get on all these other maps where while you're farming, fast farming, or doing anything, you can collect them. You just need to have four mice in the room present. This event does not play in survivor mode, but it plays in all other modes, so that is similar to the Lua event. So basically, just collect all the tools and your seeds, and then when you finally get this map, the duration between these maps does change. You can farm it a little bit, but it is a standard timing across all rooms. So currently it is between 20 and 30 minutes roughly. Every time there's a reset, the timings will end up changing, so do keep that in mind. But you just go there, you had to plant a seed, and then you just had to wait for it to grow. And basically you'll get a bunch of plants, you had to trade them in for a higher up seed, so to speak, and then you plant those, and after a certain number of times, you'll finally get to your like final seeds, either you want your lemons, or your grapes, or your chilies, or the lotuses. These are the ones that will give you various prizes at the end that you can trade for. By the way, there is an inventory limit, which some of us have found to be a little bit annoying because we hit that limit quite quickly. So you can have up to 80 mystery seeds, that's your limit. You can have five watering cans, five ladybugs, five rakes, and five fertilizers. Those are your limits. And I'm not sure about the other items, but I'm guessing it might also be 80, as in like the other crops, the fruits, the flowers, the seeds, the other ones that you collect if you don't happen to plant them. I think it might be 80 as well. I haven't tested it out, but it's gone above 10 for sure. So there is a new bee pet as well, which you can trade. I'll show you the whole trade thing in a little bit. All the collectible things that you can get on regular maps, it does not show up every map. It shows up very randomly and in random locations. Generally, the location will be the same place for all the mice, but sometimes it does happen where the location might be different for one or two of the mice compared to what you see on your screen. So be aware of that as well. And you can trade these items. That is awesome. You can trade any of the tools or the seeds, even like tomato seeds, lemon seeds, any of those even the lotus seeds or, I haven't checked the lotus seed, but I think so. And also the chili seeds. You can trade those among other players as well, so that is awesome. It will help you out a lot more, but make sure that you don't hit the limit. That's the only thing. Anyways, you have six plots in your garden and you have 90 seconds to plant it. Basically, you go over to a plot, an empty plot, you click on it, and then it'll show up a window showing the options that you can do which should just show you a bunch of seeds that you can plant. Once you've planted it and you click on that same plot again, if you have any fertilizers, you can use those, or a watering can, you can use that on it. If there are green little aphids, I think, aphid bugs, then you can, if you click on it, you can use a ladybug to remove them. If there are weeds on it and you click on it, the plant, it'll give you the option to use your rake on it to remove them as well. And then you can use fertilizers on them after that if you have any, or a watering can, which works the same way. So for the tools, oh, by the way, the drop rate for these tools on the farming map, it's 5% for the watering cans and ladybugs, 7% for the rake, and 2% for the fertilizer. And then you have these drop rates on your own plants. The chances that you will get aphids or weeds on your plants. For ladybugs it's 5% and for weeds it's 7%. So it corresponds to the tool drop rate as well. And watering can and fertilizers can increase your growth by five turns. 
One turn is counted when you and you, when you land on an event map. A couple seconds into it, it'll show your plants have sprouted a little bit. That means you've gotten one turn. If you quickly jump over and manage to get another room, and then the map plays, you will see it sprout a little bit more. That means another turn is done. I have managed very rarely, like very rarely, to get four maps in one turn. On an average, I can get two, maybe three maps in one turn. That's only if you start off in a faster room and then you go to a slower room. So those are some tips I'll add on later on as well. As far as seeds go, you can basically you get your mystery seed from these random maps and then for the other seeds you can trade and basically you'll need three of each crop to be able to get the next kind of seed and each of those next seeds they have an increased number of turns that it takes for them to grow as well so just be aware of that apart from that if you use your watering can and fertilizers use them on the plants they'll take the longest time to grow honestly and if there are any bugs or weeds on those plants that means they will stop growing they won't grow until you use a ladybug or a rake accordingly on those plants. If you don't use it and you let it stay there, it is not going to grow. The turns will just stop, so it will stay at that stage until you get it removed. Anyways, so for the mystery seed, every time you plant it, there is a different percentage chances of what that seed will turn out to be. There's a 65% chance that it will be a daisy, 15% chance it will be a tomato, 10% blueberry, 7% grape, 2% lemon and 1% chili pepper, which is like the ultimate prize. <laughs> so for this, I'm just putting up all the grow times here and I'm just telling you what's written on wiki. Daisies take three turns and then cherries, cherry tomatoes, they take five turns, blueberries take seven, white grapes take 11 turns, lemon takes 15 turns, chili peppers take 20 turns. And the rainbow lotus takes anywhere from 165 to 185 turns. That is a lot. And the hat one, which is the green lotus seed, takes 123 turns. So those are quite a bit of turns, which is where I use all my fertilizers on, honestly. So that is like also the order in which you'd have to trade up as well. Here's a list that was made on TFM Wiki. So this is your order and the prizes you get. So of course, 10 daisies, you can get your rainbow lotus, which can give you one of a badge basically. And every time after that you use a rainbow lotus, you're going to get one chili pepper. Up to last event, you used to be two chili peppers, but now it is one. And then if you do the grape, you can collect a bunch of them for the wine grower title, or you can get five grapes to get your green seed and then get yourself the basically mouth shovel item once it's grown. After that, I do not know for sure. I'll have to check. So check in the description below if it does change because as far as last year, not last year, last time's garden event, it did not give you anything else, but I'm not sure about this year yet. So check the description below if there is anything that gives. Anyways, as far as lemons go, which is the next step up, that can give you a sunflower title once you get enough, or you can trade those into chili peppers, which has two prizes. Seven of them will give you the orb, which is also known as cartouche, or two of them will give you that other badge. And then you can also use chili peppers and trade them in for chests. Say what? So you can get it by tickets and by chili peppers. That is awesome. So in our advent calendar, for the adventure calendar, the top, at the very top, it'll show you the total number of chili peppers you have grown and also the total number of collectible items you have gathered. Even if your inventory is full and you gather the item, although it doesn't count in your inventory, it counts in your adventure points. So that is there. As far as rewards go, no one has grown 40 chili peppers or 30 lemons yet. That is gonna take a really long time, so I'd rather not wait to get this video out till then. I can add it to the description below if you do get any prize from that. But so far, using 20 watering cans or 20 fertilizers, 10 ladybugs or 10 rakes, that gives you no rewards. None of us got any tickets from doing that. So that was a little bit of a bummer, but there are ways that you can trade in those items to get yourself some tickets. So I don't think it's that much of a loss. I think it's actually pretty nice that we at least get tickets from it. So that's pretty cool. Although it is a bit of a grinding event. So if you have time, go for the grind. <laughs> You will just get adventure points in this so far. And then we have your, of course, I already told you about the whole trade thing, what you get for each of them, but just in case you missed out, you also have 10 chili peppers for one chest as well. And then you can get 
basically you can trade one chili pepper for 30 cheese coins which honestly don't do that just trade sell your seed honestly sell your chili pepper seed a lot of people want that right now it's in high demand and you're definitely going to get way more than 30 cheese coins for the seed itself and you can trade your ladybugs your rakes and definitely you'd want to use your watering cans and fertilizers those are high commodity <laughs> And then you can trade your daisies for these bee pets once you're done buying like the lotus seeds. And if you want, you can buy tomato seeds and stuff, but that's your wish. Apart from that, you can go to the other NPC character you can, and you can trade your 50 tickets for a chest if you don't want to do it for 10 chili peppers. That is also an option, which is good. If you scroll all the way down is where you'll be able to buy the lotus seeds. You can only buy one rainbow lotus at a time or one green seed at a time. If it's already planted, you cannot buy another. When you've harvested that lotus plant, then it'll allow you to buy more. Otherwise it doesn't at this point in time. And then when you grow crops, you will get different rewards for growing them. If it's a daisy, you'll get either five green or red paintbrushes, five letters, five selfie sticks, or five coffee bean seeds. If you grow a tomato, you get two to five random consumables. If you grow um, blueberries, you'll get three cheese coins. And the other crops do not give you consumables because those are used for reward, like event rewards as well. And I think that is pretty much that. Oh yes, do remember, if you do fast farm or are really fast, if you're collecting, if you get a collectible, which we're calling tools on any of the maps, do not go in the hole before 10 seconds. If you go in the hole faster than 10 seconds, then you do not get that event tool item. So it will not count even though you've collected it. You need to wait for 10 seconds. So do remember that. And that it can appear for in a different location for some mice, even though it, you can't see it there on your screen. So room hopping is a little possible, but it's a little bit hard to do. And apparently as per wiki, if all you got was daisies from mystery seeds. It would take 243 of them to get one chili pepper. Like what? That's so much. But either ways, I think I've covered all the main stuff about this event. So happy farming, you guys. And now I'm just going to tell you about the different tips I had slash stuff that I saw, but my personal opinion, so you don't know how to take it. You can take it with a grain of salt, basically. And also I can show you like the bigger images, HD images of all the prizes, which is super nice. Anyways, as far as tips go, I would, if I'm starting the event, I would find out what the time is between each event and set that as a timer. And when the timer is about to go up, I would either go to like a Defalante room or a racing room, whichever is faster. And that way you'll be able to hop onto other maps. So once you're done with that, then jump over to vanilla, else to normal rooms, and then see if there are ones that are almost done in 10 seconds versus another room that's going to take one minute to get over. Like quickly hop as soon as you see your plant has like, I don't know, like grown a little bit, then just like quickly hop on over to the next room. That way you can hop, maybe get two or three possibly, possibly even four, I mean, but that's really rare to do. So you can hop rooms like that and get the lotus seed first, like when you get the daisies, collect 10 of them and get the lotus seed first because that's going to take a really long time to grow. So while that happens, you can keep growing other things at the same time. I would say go for the lotus thing as soon as you can. Also, when you collect tools on your map, on any of the random maps, make sure that you've moved before you get teleported or cannoned through that item. Because if you don't move and your rat is has already collected the item technically, it's not going to count, it's not going to show that you've actually collected it because you didn't move, so you're an AFK rat while well, that happened. So do make sure to move a little bit before that. Another thing that you can do to help out, like you and your friends, which have been doing a lot in our farms, we also try to do tool farms, so that's another thing that we're giving a shot. So basically you have four plus mice in a room and we just keep dying on the rounds unless we see the tools, such as fertilizers or watering cans or ladybugs or her rakes. If we see that on the map, then we do like a fast farm on those. Apart from that, then we're just dying. <laughs> we're skipping the seeds for the most part because they're really common and we've easily filled up on 80. Another thing that you could do since the maximum limit is having five, Let's say you have five of one item and that shows up on your next map. 
in the chat, I'll just put five out of five. So if someone does not have enough of those tools, they can just quickly trade me. I can trade them one of those items. So I have four out of five. And now I can get that tool to count for me. So in that case, you're helping out a friend or someone else and you're still keeping your five. So you can definitely do that. Like, let's say I have five rakes in my inventory and now on this map that I see, we have another rake on this map. I'll quickly tell in chat, I'll be like, hey, I have five out of five. Someone trade me, they'll trade me. I'll trade them one rake. So now I'll have four out of five. I'll collect the rake on this map and go in the hole. And now I'll have five out of five. And my friend will also have one more extra rake for them. So you can do that with all the tools. This is just a tip to help out because, you know, why not? I already told you about planting a lotus seed first thing. Don't waste your daisies on anything else at first. You can just use your mystery seeds. And after you get one set, I would save another set of 10 daisies before using them to either trade up or trade for bees. Because once your lotus is done, at least I want to have a lotus in my garden at all times because I'm guaranteed a chili from that one. So I would just save it. So once my lotus is actually ready, I have another set of 10 daisies ready to be traded in for a seed so I can plant it in my garden right away again. So that's what I would do. And you can definitely carry way over 10 daisies because even in my inventory, I had around 18 before I had to use it up for another lotus seed. So for me, I kept their rainbow seed as a priority because it's definitely going to give you chili peppers for sure. And you can just use a lot of ferts and water to speed it up as well. I feel that doing the lemons and all, that's a longer route to do it. So the similar case I would say is for grapes. First of all, save up five green, five of them for the green seed and the shovel mouth item. So I would definitely go for that first thing as soon as you can. I personally would always plant the other seeds over the mystery seeds if it is a blueberry seed or above and then keep trading upwards from that point on. Someone else who did this, they vouched on just using mystery seeds because they had really good luck and they got even chili peppers and a lot of like grapes and stuff as well. If you feel like you have really good luck, then only do both lotuses once for the prize and do a bunch of mystery seeds for the rest of them and grapes and lemon and pepper seeds. The rest of them, you can just sell them off or do whatever you want. That's only if you feel like you have really good luck with it. <laughs> And me, I have average luck, so I always keep a lotus in my garden, and the rest of them I use mystery seeds and blueberries and above. At this point in time, I do not know if the green lotus gives you anything else after you get the mouth item, and it would delay this video like quite a bit, so I'm just using wikis copy-pasted from last time's event, which says that you do not get anything. If this is incorrect, I will add an update in the comments below. Anyways, I think that's honestly pretty much it. It's a pretty straightforward, easy one to do. The Lua event is also still going on concurrently. So the Lua's event is going to end on the 28th, but this one's ending on September 8th. So you have a long time for this, but it's also going to take a while to finish this event. So good luck to everyone. Let me know if you have any other questions in the comments below. Bye, you guys. Kate and Shalom. As always, peace. And don't forget to enter the weekly giveaways in my update videos as well, by the ways.